So today we're taking a look at two new earbuds from Defunct and the reason we're looking at both of them together is because these two earbuds are really similar to each other but they have very different price tags and serves very different purposes. So to help you make that decision, I'm here to share with you the differences. These earbuds today were sent over to me by Defunct for review and although these were sent over to me, no money has exchanged hands and this review is based on my honest and unbiased opinion. The defunct True Music, which I have here in black, is the more budget-friendly model coming in at 30 US dollars or about 138 Malaysia Ringgit. And its bigger brother, the True Talk, which I have in white here, comes in at 80 US dollars or about 358 Malaysia Ringgit. You can see the price difference there, and the True Talk is almost two and a half times more expensive because of the one key technology. So if you're interested in buying them, please check out my links in the description below. So design-wise, both the True Music and the True Talk are both AirPods alternative or half-in-ear earbuds. In this case, you're going to get silicone tips out of the box. So it's like they want to be comfortable and open at the same time, but they got that silicone tips to improve sound. So if you're sensitive to silicone tips, then perhaps these may not be suitable for you. The main difference in terms of design is the case. And for the True Music, we'll start with the black one here. It's a smaller, simpler clamshell case with a simple lid design with the Defound branding on the top. Top. You're also going to get 4 LED indicators at the front as well as a Type-C charging port at the back. The lid of the True Music doesn't feel all too special and it doesn't even hold itself up when you open them. And it feels like there's not too much effort placed in designing this case but then again these are simple basic budget earbuds. So the True Talk on the other hand feels a lot more premium with a nice matte material case, very smooth to the touch with the Defunct branding etched into the case uh, in the front here and you're also going to get four LEDs indicator at the bottom of it. You're also going to get a Type-C charging port at the bottom to charge it up. And the overall case looks like the original AirPods and feels really good in the hands, kind of like a tic tap shape form factor. The lid on the True Talk also doesn't hold itself up but has a very nice premium feeling hinge uh, that feels a lot like the AirPods case itself. It's weighted but doesn't hold itself open. Inside you're also going to get a plastic mold in the lid which is not just some simple plastic lid like the True Music. So as we established earlier, both of these earbuds are also very similar in styling uh, where you're going to get that Defunct branding on the stem and you're also going to get this plus shape hole at the top here that acts as air ventilations to let air in your earbuds. Both earbuds also comes with an interchangeable ear tip so these can be removed and replaced with different sizes. Uh, it's more to direct sound into your ears but they are not similar to in-ear earbuds as they don't create a seal in your ears. The main difference is the material and the True Talks come with a soft plastic feel uh, which is similar to the case and the True Music comes with a harder plastic that feels a lot more simpler and less premium feeling. So in terms of its battery life, the True Music gets about 5 hours of juice plus 17 additional hours with the case giving you a total of 22 hours. The True Talk on the other hand comes with a 4 hour battery life with 16 additional hours with the case giving you a total of 20 hours of juice. The reason behind that largely lies on the codex that they run and we're going to go into that a little bit more in a feature section but the True Music only runs SBC which is a more efficient codec compared to AAC on the True Talk. So charging the earbuds takes around one and a half hours but the True Talk supports Type-C to Type-C charging which speeds up charging of the case at only one hour where the case of the True Music takes two hours. So starting with the volume of the True Talk here, it has a comfortable listening volume at all around 45%. So it's pretty high up the scale. It does start to get loud about 80%, but it's still honestly bearable. Anything above that is too loud for me, but you can see that there's quite a gradual increase in volume. And as a half in ear earbuds, they are not the loudest because it needs to combat and fight with the external noises as well. In the case of the True Music, it's Worse compared to the True Talk, a comfortable listening volume only starts at 60%, which is not the best at all. Everything before that is such a small gradual increase in volume, which doesn't feel quite right. Then when you reach somewhere around 80%, it suddenly gets really loud very quickly, and then anything above that is too loud. So, very odd combination there. So specs wise, these two earbuds are similar but with some key differences here and there. They both come with Bluetooth 5.2 but the True Music supports only the SBC codec. So the black one here, only SBC codec, where the True Talk, the white one here, supports AAC and SBC codec. This has that minor impact on battery life as we discussed earlier since SBC is a more power efficient codec compared to AAC codec. Both of these earbuds has IPX4 water resistant rating but they are more like basic protection for sweat and drizzling but not suitable 
suitable to get them soaking wet considering the large holes on top of the earbuds. The key difference between the two is the voice calls for both of them and the True Talk as the name mentions uses pure voice bone conduction technology to detect voice and cleverly combines it with their own ENC technology which is environment noise cancelling technology to give you good call quality. So both of these earbuds support seamless left and right playback so you can use both of them either side without problems and finally both of these earbuds also don't come with any multi-point support. So let's talk about the sound signature of both of these earbuds and I'm surprised that the True Music didn't have the better codec option since it's clearly stated for music. So starting with the True Talk, audio quality here is decent but I wouldn't say that they are fantastic sounding. The bass is there, nothing too powerful like your typical in-ear earbuds. They add a little bit of dynamism to your otherwise flat sound signature and that's pretty good. But because you can tell that Defunct is trying to compensate that bass by boosting it a lot, it does sacrifice a little bit on the mids and highs. Not too severe but you can hear that it's not as bright especially with the highs. Vocals are really nice with these earbuds. They sound clear and have very good reproduction of artists which without feeling recess. For the True Music, you start to hear the difference. Uh, the bass here doesn't feel as low as the True Talk and this is me testing it one after another so definitely can tell the difference. And you can feel that the True Music has that flatter sound signature which doesn't add a lot to your music. Vocals sound equally good here and it's comparable to the True Talk but the benefit here with the True Music is that the high sounds a little bit more bright. Unfortunately, it doesn't feel high definition. So despite it being bright, the execution sounds messy and unpolished. So if it's my money, I'll honestly splurge a little bit more and get the True Talk for a more balanced sound signature. So this is a test to see if the defunct True Talk is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. What I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the defunct true music is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbud. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So both of these earbuds do not have dedicated gaming or low latency mode but they both perform very differently. The True Music specifically have a slightly better latency performance compared to the True Talk. It has a very minor delay. The True Talk on the other hand have quite a severe delay when it comes to gaming latency with PUBG. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So just to summarize the controls for both of these earbuds, they both control all aspects of your media which is really good. Both of them includes volume control, play, pause, track skipping, uh, forwards and backwards, as well as voice control. Overall, very good execution in terms of control from the phone. So it really depends on what you're looking for but personally I'll gravitate more towards the True Talk because it sounds a lot better and call quality is a lot more superior compared to the True Music. So which one would you pick and why? Let me know in the comments below. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.